Hey, I just thought about it. I got another fucking point to make real quick. You know what I was really sitting over here thinking about? Like when I really tell you that this morning, I'm really, really, really feeling like fuck all the bullshit. I've been really catting off. Hold on real quick. They over here taking out the trash and shit, but I'm not gonna let the distraction stop me from getting this out, okay? Here, then let me just go inside then so y'all can hear this. <laughs> you wanna go inside, y'all? Come on. Real quick, y'all. Let me tell y'all how far down and deep I was finna go in this fucking matrix. When I first got this job, I was like, oh, yay, I'm so excited. This is what I'm really gonna do. This is where I'm gonna retire. Blah, 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 blah. But tell me why I was just using the bathroom real quick and I'm like, look, using the bathroom, looking at myself in the mirror. And I said, I had an is it Ray moment. I said, bitch, you do not want to retire and end your life and be like, I really want to work the rest of my life here and retire from doing mutual funds, helping people with the stock market, um, retirement accounts, 401ks and shit. I never gave a fuck about that shit. Now, if God put it in my life for me to learn about it and take something from it, thank you, God. I completely respect it. But for me to sit here and be like, this is Yep, I want to work here for the next 20 years and retire from this job. No, the fuck you don't. And that's exactly where we be getting lost at and confused at. When I was a child, I always knew, I always knew I wanted to be an artist. My mom would tell you that the time I picked up a pen, scissors, anything, like I'm little, she said I was literally drawing and stuff like as soon as I was able to damn near move my fingers. Like, let's just be honest. Let's say one, two years old, Okay. My whole life, I've known I wanted to be an artist. And from getting a fucking job, a new job, and seeing this is how society usually does it, people get a good job, they stay there for 20 years, they have a 401k, they retire and everything. No, that's, how, that's exactly how you get lost, confused, and stuck in a fucking matrix. And I almost allowed myself to do that, bruh. I really did. And I'm sitting over here watching one of my videos. And as soon as I say that, as soon as I say that to myself, I'm telling myself in the mirror, bitch, you tripping. Let's get it together, right? I get done doing what I'm doing. I come back, start the video again, and I'm not lying. Two seconds later, he say, you know, if you feel like you want to worry all about this and, oh, I'm doing all of this for a 401k and da 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 you do you. But not everybody even live to see tomorrow. And it's just like, yes. Exactly. God is constantly putting messages in the universe for me to pick up. Synchronicities, everything. You know, it's no such thing as coincidences. He is always dropping those gems for you. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's for you to take those messages. And I just wanted to say real quick that it's just like, bruh, like I I'm about to dedicate to myself to literally release myself from this ego that I have like you feel me like like I feel like I need to get perfect do my eyebrows not look tired put some uh, mascara on do all of this to get a message across when that's not the message that I want to get across I can't be preaching all of this oh spiritual don't worry about how I look I'm not tripping on me when if I can't just if I have something resonating with my spirit and I have a message that I want to say I should be able to do it in that moment just pick up my phone I don't care because the people who are going to be resonating to me and and connecting and find my video are not coming because they're like, oh, she's pretty and I'm clicking on it for how she look. If my videos and my channel was all about how I look, I would have been had a million subscribers because I would have been twerking, shaking ass and being half naked. That's not the point. So I need to release the ego that I got, first of all, which is stop trying to be perfect when I know that that's not it. So when I have messages that I have or things that I want to say, my goal is to stop focusing so much on how I look and even apologizing for it. Oh, y'all, don't worry about how I look. I just did that in the first video, in the part one. I'm not going to do that no more. Moving forward, I really am going to try to dedicate myself to posting more than just on Thursday, posting more than just what I've been resonating on for the past week, I am literally just going to talk about how I feel for the day. Maybe just give that day by day update. You know what I'm saying? Because I I really do believe that I have people who come to me who resonate with me on my journey. 
I'm not the only one on this journey. I'm not the only one living this journey. We all are. You know what I'm saying? And I've always felt like I'm super like expressive and optimistic and ambitious. But along with that, I have the times that I'm not. And I always felt like I didn't have anybody to necessarily go to for that. But maybe it's because I need to create an environment of people who where we could do that for each other. And I be talking all this shit about, oh, I, you know, I don't get out much. I don't... I, haven't had no friends like that in Virginia Beach. I'm not able to meet people, but just I can have relationships and connections that are not solely based on physical. You know what I'm saying? So that's my thing too. Like I'm really trying to build up my soul tribe. The people who find me are meant to find me and connect with me and subscribe to me and watch my videos and come to me for uh, motivation, advice, or even just to connect. Cause I might not always be motivating or inspiring. I might really have a fucked up day, but I think I want to really get to the point where I'm really being transparent with that and sharing that with y'all. And part of me also letting go of my ego is me stop worrying about what people are, are going to think. Like it's easier for me to be myself and be open and post these videos when I know that strangers are watching, but I'm telling you, I get really cringy when I know somebody I know is watching especially when Richard he'll try to watch one of my videos right in front of me and if I hear it I'll be like uh stop and he'd be like what's wrong and I'll be like no because it makes me I instantly been like do I sound stupid I start doubting myself what are people thinking who I know people who I don't even care or fuck with I be worried about what they gonna think about what I'm saying what I'm posting how I'm talking how loud am I talking how excited I am I even get excited and self-conscious about how excited I sound like girl you sound too excited calm down you know what fuck all of that that's part of my ego like if this is who I am this is who I am and I'm not gonna get to where I need to be if I'm so conscious about how other people think about me when it, these are the people who think badly about me because the same people who will think badly about me it's an other group of people on a, a whole other side of the spectrum who are loving me and who are like but I love her energy I love how she talks so why am I giving more energy into the motherfuckers who are haters than people who gonna really support me you feel me? The people who I actually really want to tune in. You know what I'm saying? Haters gonna help the numbers go up too. I'm not mad. But it is what it is. And I'm really, I'm, I need to, this is what God's saying. He's saying like, look, you supposed to be going through this exact moment right now. You are on the right path. You are supposed to be shedding his ego. That's probably the last thing I need to share before he really be like, now you ready for the blessing. Now you're really ready for the blessing because how you want to be all out and show this and teach people that and teach people that when you still worried about what people think. I ain't learned what I'm supposed to learn yet. You're not giving what you're supposed to give yet. You're not giving. It's giving insecure. It's giving you give a fuck too much. You know what I'm saying? And I need that childlike energy back, like how I used to have. I knew I wanted to be an artist. I didn't care about how I looked. I didn't care about how my skin looked. I didn't care about my weight. All of that shit didn't come until society started telling me and people, real life, it was adults who really fuck up your whole child mentality. Oh, you can't be an artist. You're not going to make enough money. Oh, you gaining weight. You need to work out. Oh, you getting chubby. Oh, look at her getting chubby. Like it's, it's adults who fuck that shit up. It wasn't other kids. Other kids is learning from adults how to even be judgmental. You know what I'm saying? It's like all of that shit, they learn that shit from their house. And then I've learned, and now I've not learned, but I've really just taken that with me into my adult life. And now I feel like, okay, I got to fit these boxes and I got to be perfect because of how this, this, that, and that person going to think about me when I need to say, fuck it. And you do too. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to add that real quick. God got me on fire this morning. I'm telling you. <laughs> If this the breakthrough, I accept it because I'm telling you, I feel different this morning. Watching them videos and really putting in perspective like, bro, this is not what you want. And if you be like, oh, I'm ready to retire. This is what I want. I'm ready. You are never going to get to where you need to be because you done already told God. That's OK. This is what I want. You feel me? I need y'all to feel me. All right. I love y'all. Stay tuned for the next one because I'm telling myself I'm going to make myself post more videos. And if you are made it to this long, if you made it to this video, then you are meant to be here with me. So keep tuning in with your girl. Comment, subscribe, let me know how you feeling. Like, you feel me? Tap in. Love y'all.